together, but we put them together, you will see there were some color or brightness differences between two different batch panels. And the second one is to replace different batch new modules. There were always some problems on old modules, like dead pixels or the hardware issues. So you just play it, replace it with a new modules from different batches. And then you will see they will also have some color and brightness differences. So for, for, this, prop, for this kind of problems, here's picture shows the exact the, the color differences and brightness differences. For this kind of problems, we really have two ways to, to solve these problems. First is to use our calibration system to do the camera calibration to match the colors. And the second one is to use the multi-batch adjustment. Multi-batch adjustment is to give you a way to manually adjust the coefficients inside of the LED modules to match the color together. So for this one, they were totally have four panels and from three different batches, the top left one shows more gray and top right one shows more red and bottom two panels, it shows standard white color. So here's another picture after we did the multi-batch adjustment for this small screen and you can see the whole screen color, it's uniform, has a lot of improvement. So how to do the multi-batch adjustment? Before we do the multi-batch adjustment, we need to do some preparations. First, make sure your sending card and the receiving card are from Novastar. And no matter which model you use, they all support multi-batch adjustment. And the second one is just use one PC for both video source and control PC, which means you need to connect the PC and the sending card with USB cable and HDMI cable. And third one is disable the scaling. If you use any video processor or you use all you want controller, just please make sure the scaling function is disabled. We need to make sure the whole screen pixel by pixel display. And from the fourth one is you need to install the software because the, the multi-batch adjustment is a software function. Both no LCT and the smart LCT software can do multi-batch adjustment. And the last one, fifth one is enable chroma calibration. Just as I mentioned before, the mounting pattern is give you a way to manually adjust the coefficients inside of the, the modules. So we need to make sure the calibration coefficients is adjustable. I'm not going to tell more about the first four preparations because it's pretty easy to understand. And from the last one, enable chroma calibration, you need to go to the software. For NOAA LCD software, when we finish to log into the software, we need to go to calibration. And then select the online calibration. Go to bottom left corner, there was an enable disable calibration. Just select chroma calibration and hit the save button to enable the chroma calibration. So after you finish all of the preparations, so we can start it to do the multi-batch adjustment. So for the software, just as I mentioned before, normal LCD software and the smart LCD software all can do the multi-batch adjustment. But today, we mainly focus on normal LCD software. As for smart LCD, we will arrange another webinar later to do the detailed uh, explanation. So let's get started about the normal LCD software multi-batch adjustment. First, you need to run no LCD software, go to user, log in with password admin, and then go to tools. There was an option called a multi-batch adjustment. Click multi-batch adjustment. The software will pop up this window. This window is a multi-batch adjustment initialization page. On this page, there were totally have two things we need to do. First is we need to choose uh, operation type. Uh, you just need to choose manual adjustment. As for apply adjustment file, later I'll tell you when we'll need to use apply adjustment file. And for the second one, color emitter, you need to 
select the colorimeters. It's fine to not use the colorimeter. If you do not have colorimeter, just select no colorimeter. If you want to use the colorimeter, just select the models below. We recommend it to use CS, CS2000 and CS100A. And if, if you use different batch or different models, colorimeter, it also supported just select other colorimeters. So here and choose no color meter. This is what we usually used. And then click next. You will go to add sample batch page. And you can see here the batch part, the, the default is there were two batches. If you want to add in more batches, just click the plus icon top left corner and you can add in more batches. Just you can name it also. So for example, here I just added one more. Now we have batch, sample batch one, sample batch two, and sample batch three. So after we finish to add the, the batch numbers, next part is to add the sample area. Click that plus icon, that small plus icon. The software will be go to this page. In this page, and the software shows the whole square topology. And for the sample area selection, we can support panel level, module level, and pixel level. So just one click that the panel to choose a panel and click add, and you will see pop-up window add successfully. This is how to add a panel as a sample area. If you want to just add a module, double click the panel and you will go to module level and you need to manually type in the module size here, the first step. And the second one is you need to select one of the panels and the third one, click add to add the, one of the modules as the sample area. If you want to add it a pixels or some of the pixels, you still need to go to the module level first and type in the module size and you just need to select the display mode to pixels. So you will see every pixel of these panels. So here, the small square box is a, it's a pixels. So you can drag to select uh, some of the pixels and then click add to add some of the pixels as the simple sample area. So after you finish to select the sample area, the sample area information will be shows up here. And sometimes the, the, the customer just want to adjust the sample batch two to close the sample batch one. So they do not want to change anything from the sample batch one. So there is another function called fixed batches. Select the sample batch one and check the box fixed fix batches, and which means you already set the sample batch one as a reference. Later, what we did, the, the, the coefficients adjustment is only changes the sample batch two. So after you finish that, click next. And the software will be automatically processed and that is inside of the receiving card. And then you will come to this page. This page is a sample batch adjustment. Selected both sample batch one and sample batch two. Just check the box here. And then go to right part. Here's a coefficient adjustment. And for the adjustment mode, we have RGB and HSI. For the RGB, which means you can adjust the red coefficients, gray coefficients, and the blue coefficients step by step to match the red, gray, and blue colors. Sometimes the RGB mode is not enough to perfectly match the colors. So we already have another, uh, so we also have another mode called HSI. The HSI means you can also adjust the brightness, the saturation, and the hue for the red, gray, blue colors. So after you finish the RGB adjustment and HSI adjustment, the red, gray, blue, and three colors may match together perfectly. 
but sometimes due to the LED nature, sometimes we finish to adjust the red, gray, blue, and the white color is not it's not matched together. There were some diff color differences between the what uh, on the white color. So this is caused by the LED nature. So we have another function called balanced. You can see here the balanced, just the one click by balanced, and you will go to this page. Still need to manually adjust the coefficients, red, gray, blue coefficients, but that part is a finite adjustment. We finished adjust the RGB coefficients. Click next. There is another button called start balancing. Just the one click, the software will be automatically to process the data and to firstly uh, change the adjust effect to make sure the red, gray, blue color and the white color all match together. Just one click to complete the balancing function. So after you did everything, everything on this page, RGB mode adjustment, HSI mode adjustment, and balanced. And for now, there were two panels from two different batches that were matched together. And then click next. And you will come to the last, last step of the multi-batch adjustment. So for now, we already have two panels, the color match together. If you want to apply the, the adjustment effect to other panels, you can click add area here, add areas here, and the software will be shows the whole screen topology again, and you can drag to select it, whatever the, the panels you want to apply the effect it to, and then click add, and the software will be successfully added to that part shows the information and hit the apply button here, apply the effect to other panels. But sometimes it, it's, it's hard to set up all of the panels in warehouse. So we have actually we have another way is you can save the file out to your local PC and apply this file to other panels later. So Click save file, save the file to your desktop or other place of your local PC. And uh, this file extension is LXY. And then click save to flash, which means we need to make sure that those two panels is matched together and save to hardware just in case power cycle lost everything. And then click complete to finish the multi-batch adjustment. So for now, we already have a file, but how to load the file? We need to go back to the first page of the multi-batch adjustment, which is the initialization page. So for the operation type, there are second option is apply adjustment file. So for now, we can select the apply adjustment file because we already got a file. And then browse the file you just saved and click next and you will directly come to last step of the multi-batch adjustment. Just did the same thing, click add areas. And, oh, sorry. Click add areas, you can apply the effect to other panels. And this is about the multi-batch adjustment without the colorimeters, but what about we use the colorimeters? For example, here I selected CS2 sound here and click next. And you can see on the add sample batch page, there was another section shows up called measurement value of a colorimeter, which means before we go to the coefficients adjustment page, we need to use the colorimeter to test your script to measure the red, gray, blue colors information, like brightness, CX, CY, and fill in the blanks here. And then go to next, next step. We'll click 